The idea of simple colexeme analysis is to calculate association measures for a lexical item in a construction to see whether that item occurs more often than expected, assuming a random distribution of that item across the corpus. So what you need is a list of frequency of items in a construction, as well as their corpus frequencies. To illustrate how to use the function, I've included the dataset GoVerb from one of my papers on the GoVerb construction, which analyzed data from the NCOW corpus. So assuming you've loaded the package with library constructions, you can inspect the dataset with str GoVerb and view the first 15 lines with head GoVerb, 15. To inspect what the colleagues function needs, we return to the documentation. The usage section tells us that Colex first takes a data frame with the construction and corpus frequencies, which here is GoVerb, and it will then need the size of the corpus. The corp size argument has a default value here of 100 million, which is roughly the size of the BNC. You should, however, always specify this argument with a measure from the corpus where your data came from to ensure accurate results and to avoid R error messages. In this case, the total frequency in the slice of the NCAL corpus from which the GoVerb data was drawn is roughly 616 million tokens. But we could also use the total frequency of verbs, which is 93,993,713. The next argument is the association measure, and the default here is a log likelihood, a very common and fairly good collocation measure. You may want to check the documentation for available association measures because additional measures might be added in future versions of the package. The reverse argument specifies whether you want to sort the output in descending order of attraction of an item to the construction, which is the default. If you want to order the output by repulsion, set this argument to true. The decimal argument's default value is set to five, which means that you get five decimal places in your association measure. If we have entered what we want, we assign the output to an object goverb.out. We can inspect the first few lines of the result with head goverb.out or the tail goverb.out. See how the function returns the observed and expected values, whether the item is attracted or repelled, the association measure, and at which significance level the value is statistically. The str.out. DIR is the same value as the color structure strength, but is negative when the association is repulsion. This facilitates the ordering of items along a continuum from most strongly attracted to most strongly repelled. For illustration, we can rerun the analysis, this time with mutual information as an association measure. Collex go verb am equals mi corp size equals 93993713 and assign the output to goverb.out.mi. Now, if we compare the top colexemes of both association measures, we quite clearly see how mutual information places very high emphasis on extremely rare events. So the question is really how representative this measure is in identifying colic seams of the GoVerb construction.